Today, our students on stage are joined by five extraordinary Harvard Business School graduates so that we can honor them with the Alumni Achievement Award. This is the school's highest honor, and these distinguished alumni have contributed significantly to their companies and their communities. As distant as it might now seem to them, they too sat in these same seats as you are today, imagining how their careers and lives would unfold. We hope their example inspires our graduating class and demonstrates the many ways HBS alumni make a difference in the world. With assistance now from five members of the MBA class of 2018, it is my pleasure to present our Alumni Achievement Awards. Let me ask Carlos Costa, a proud member of Section D, to introduce our first honoree. Good afternoon, everyone, and congratulations, class of 2018. My name is Carlos Costa, and I'm a proud member of Section D. Today, I have the honor and the privilege to introduce to all of you Mr. Claudio Haddad, a fellow Brazilian who has been doing incredible things for the country and inspiring us to step up and make a difference in the world. In 1985, when Brazil was still transitioning into a democracy, Mr. Haddad came to HBS to attend an executive education program and become part of this amazing community. By that time, he had already earned his PhD in economics and had proven himself to be an economist, a gifted professor, a civil servant, and a banker. Mr. Claudio served as director of the Central Bank of Brazil between 1980 and 1982, leading the country through turbulent times when inflation rates were above 100%. So for those of, those of you who took Biggie and Image, it is quite of a challenge. Years later, he became the CEO of Garantia, one of the largest and most relevant bank, banks in Brazil. And in 1998, after Garantia was acquired by Credit Suisse, Mr. Claudio Haddad turned his attention to education and eventually founded INSPER, a Sao Paulo-based education organization. With his partners, Mr. Claudio made of INSPER one of the leading institutions of higher learning in South America, an institution that adopts very innovative methods, includes the HBS case method, into its programs of business, economics, law, and engineering. And now, INSPER has 10,000 students who are actively engaged in all aspects of society. A native of Brazil, Mr. Claudio Haddad has lived and tra traveled throughout the world, but his heart has always been in his homeland. Claudio El Haddad, uh, a graduate of our Owner President Management Program uh, in 1987, chairman of the INSPER Institute of Education and Research. Proud Brazilian, as a banker, civil servant, and educator, you have made an indelible mark on society, bringing far reaching vision and passion to everything you do. Born to educators, you built on the family tradition providing inspiration and leadership while cherishing your role as husband, father, and grandfather. Claudio, today we honor you and celebrate your extraordinary contributions to society. Hi, my name is Kamisha Hyde, Section E. Um, it is my pleasure to introduce esteemed alumna Carla Harris. When Carla Harris was applying to college, her guidance counselor advised her to apply only to Florida State Schools. 
Don't bother with the Ivy League, he said. It's too competitive. Being a good Catholic girl, Carla dutifully submitted applications to the state schools and several Ivies. She was granted admission to them all, and she learned a valuable lesson. Don't count yourself out. In the 30 years since earning her AB and MBA at Harvard, Carla has worked with her way through the ranks of, at Morgan Stanley to become a vice chairman, all the while serving as a role model, a mentor, and a voice for women and minorities. Beyond her very successful day job, Carla's leadership can be seen on the corporate and nonprofit boards upon which she serves, as well as in her Harlem church, where she is a member of a gospel choir. Carla has recorded three albums and sung at Carnegie Hall five times, and she's currently writing her third book. If that isn't enough, she is the mother of a toddler. Carla Harris, MBA 1987, Vice Chairman of Morgan Stanley. Vibrant virtuoso, you spread the gospel with pearls of wisdom that strike a chord from Wall Street to Walmart, inspiring people from all backgrounds to take a page from your book. You lead with courage and compassion. Mentor, mother, Morgan matriarch, you have influenced countless lives for you, we have nothing but unceasing praise. Carla, today we honor you and celebrate your inspiring leadership. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andrew Tingley, proud member of Section F. Today, it's my great honor to introduce to you Mr. Christopher Howard, MBA class of 2003. Chris Howard's resume is so impressive that when the Robert Morris University Presidential Search Committee members saw it, they didn't believe it was real. An Air Force veteran who received a Bronze Star for his service and held a PhD from Oxford an MBA from HBS. Chris has started a nonprofit to help children in South Africa, and he's written a book on finance, just to name a few of his accomplishments. The committee realized that this too good to be true candidate was for real when he showed up for the interview. Needless to say, he got the job. As a boy in East Texas, Chris excelled at academics and at football. He looked up to his big brother, and they both followed their mother's advice. Do the best that you can. Chris is the great-great-grandson of a slave, and his parents grew up helping their parents to pick cotton. He likes to point out that this story of his life is a uniquely American story, one that emphasizes the value of hard work and perseverance. Thank you. Christopher B. Howard, MBA 2003, President of Robert Morris University. Devoted team player from East Texas to South Africa, you have piloted your own course, earning accolades at Oxford, selflessly serving your country, and setting an example for others. Your solid foundation of leadership on the field has positioned you as a leader in your field. Decorated veteran, we are proud to induct you into our very own Hall of Fame. Chris, today we honor you and celebrate your tremendous accomplishments. My name is Hannah Catterman, proud member of Section G. It's my pleasure to introduce esteemed alumna, Abby Johnson. In its 70 plus year history, Fidelity Investments has run, been run by three people, Abby Johnson, her father, and her grandfather. 
but Fidelity is no ordinary family business. The firm today serves 27 million individuals, and Abby's rise to the top has been nothing but extraordinary. She paid her dues. Her first job was working in the wire room as a high school student, and then after earning her MBA, she proved herself as an equity analyst intern, pulling all-nighters with the rest of her cohort to prepare for industry reviews. Abby's unique ability to balance long-term strategic thinking with attention to detail, combined with a passion for hard work, has earned her the respect of her peers, both within and outside of Fidelity. An expert on cryptocurrency, she is committed to making the most of technology to serve the firm's customers and employees. Abby runs Fidelity with unmatched integrity and enthusiasm, making her an inspiring role model for leadership in the 21st century. Abigail P. Johnson, MBA, 1988, Chairman and CEO of Fidelity Management and Research, LLC. Boston business leader, your stellar track record proves that humility and a passion to do the right thing can yield remarkable results. With quiet grace, you've enhanced your family's legendary legacy, modeling creativity, collaboration, and conscience. Strategic thinker, mother, daughter, philanthropist, with your own personal style, you set the bar high and expertly exceeded all expectations. Abby, today we honor you and celebrate your remarkable success. Good afternoon. My name is Lawrence Gu, a proud member of Section B. It is my honor today to introduce Mr. John Paulson. John Paulson's early roots in business can be traced back to a playground in Queens. As a child, he sold charms candies to the neighborhood kids and saved his profits in a treasure chest. That entrepreneurial spirit is woven into the fabric of John's life. While still in college, he launched a business in Ecuador, his father's homeland, and soon began selling housewares to Bloomingdale's. HBS was a natural fit for John. He loved the problem-solving aspect of the case method and graduated in the top of his class as a Baker Scholar. After cutting his teeth at several investment firms, he launched his own concern gradually building up a track record and attracting other investors, and eventually betting against the subprime mortgage market, turning his company into one of the largest hedge funds in the world. Today, the impact of John's philanthropy can be seen at educational, cultural, and medical facilities throughout the world, including just across Western Ave, where Harvard's Paulson School of Engineering and Applied Science is changing the skyline and the future of Harvard, Alston, and society as a whole. Thank you. John A. Paulson, MBA 1980, President of Paulson & Company. Intrepid investor, your calculated risks and precise planning proved prescient. Phenomenal philanthropist, you have used your remarkable talents to enhance culture, education, and society. From Central Park to Success Academy and Harvard's C's, your generosity is transforming institutions and improving lives. You are proof positive of one person's ability to make a difference. John, today we honor you and celebrate the profound impact you are having in the world. 